Lee, uh, you know, of course, I've known him for a long time, the longest, you know, both of us have been in the band for the longest, and he's started the band, I think it was 1984, with uh, Carl Sacco and Sam Cress and Jim Sagwinetti. When I joined even in 86, um, it was Eric Wong was playing bass and Doug Piercy on guitar. And I knew Doug because he played guitar and had a chorus. And at, before that, I was singing for Blind Illusion and we did a lot of shows together. So we became friends early on and we brought in Mikey Skrimsky, um, who everybody called Yaz, we called Yaz. Once we solidified the, the lineup with with Yaz, um, we uh, did our first demo and got that out there and and then Combat Records came to us um, and wanted to sign us and so we did a record, we did Breaking the Silence with Combat Records and then we moved on with uh, Derry Minter and um, it took us a few years to, uh, to uh, work things out um, to do another record. Um, different business stuff, different problems with management, things like that, that hindered us and slowed us down a bit. Um, but then we were able to get in the studio and, and uh, record Victims of Deception. Had a, a lot of fun, uh, you know, going to Europe for the first time. It was, you know, exciting for us. And then uh, we came back and, and Metal kind of took a pause for a while in, in the States. And it was this huge pause when Lee was doing Die Coops and there was no heathen. We put the band back together to do the Thrash of the Titans show. Uh, it was a benefit show for Chuck Billy and for uh, Chuck from Death. Once we did Valken, uh that's when we really knew that uh, that metal was back and that you know that we could make a run. We came back. We really started getting busy writing uh, new material, and when you know it was actually go time, we had to look for another guitar player. Craig had answered that call. And he contributed three songs for the last record, Evolution of Chaos, and Empire of the Blind is his baby. Dave is one of those guys that can kind of do it all. He sings, he plays guitar, he plays drums. Dave's got a lot of different influences and he can do a lot of different things with his voice. His voice is one of those things that um, it's identifiable with, with the band Heathen. Lee has this natural gift uh, in terms of his playing. He's got a natural ability to uh, hear harmonies and add uh, ideas to the music that really take the songs to the next level. In a social setting, Lee is the life of the party. And then there's Cragen, who is uh, one of the most organized guys I know. Very knowledgeable about heavy metal and music in general, but just a huge fan of heavy metal. He's a real student of the art, for sure. I've known Jason since 1991. We met each other in Los Angeles, and he joined my band Psychosis, and we've been friends uh, ever since. He's a, a great bass player, and um, you know, just an all-around uh, awesome guy. Where I met him was on our last European tour, where he played drums for Generation Kill. We got to know him a bit and um, became friends on that tour. He's going to bring a lot of energy to the band. His performance on the record is just incredible. 